Hi everyone, my name is Gabby and welcome to my channel, Nails in Orbit. Today we are doing a very special video. We are organizing my nail room or nail nook as I like to call it, since it's not actually a room, but <laughs> so we're gonna do that today. These, when I first started doing nails, I binge watched, love these type of videos. So I'm so excited to be doing my very own. So first we're gonna start with a little pre-tour. So this side is my nail area, nail desk. I have the Ikea, like Alexa drawer setup situation. Um, and I really like it. So I have that over here. And then I have just like knickknacks, all the storage, and we're gonna go through all the storage and just organize everything. Um, I'm gonna film me organizing the drawers, just cleaning them and stuff like that. And then I have on this side, my computer side. So I'm also a freelance graphic designer. So I also use this side quite a bit as well, besides just um, editing my videos. So yep, this side, we're gonna make it cute. This is just an extra desk because sometimes I take my friends like as nail clients. Um, I used to take them more, but now I just take my friends because I don't really have people in my house, I'm gonna be honest. But anyway, so um, I just have my nail desk here. Um, I can break it down in theory, but I just never do. And then, um, yeah, the structure's gonna stay the same for the most part because it used to be different and I've already changed it. So this used to be here before and then I didn't have my desk here. I had it in the other room, which was very inconvenient. I was running back and forth quite a bit. So I'm so happy with this setup. We're just gonna make it organized and make it cute. So if you like these type of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And in the next video, um, we are going to decorate for Halloween. I usually do that September 1st, but I'm very late and I haven't done it yet. And um, this is not clean. So it'll be more fun to decorate when it doesn't look the way it's looking right now, so. Okay, first we'll start off with a little close up of the desk. So these are just my little knickknack shelves. They have accumulated quite a bit of knickknacks. And then my desk, like I said, I usually organize it a bit, but I did not organize it just for the sake of this video. And then I forgot to tell you guys in the intro, but I do have a locker that I want to organize as well. And it's metal, so it's kind of nice. I want to do a whole video where I put all these on here and then like line them all up. I think that would be nice. But this is my big problem area is these freaking wires, they're just everywhere. And um, I wanna organize them, then like maybe put them in one of the drawers or something. So yeah, we're gonna go through all these drawers and we'll organize this nail desk aside first, okay? I wanted to inform everyone that my reality TV show of the day is unexpected. <laughs> I have been watching The Hills, but I just saw that they have season six of this and I only thought they had season five because I watched it on Hulu, but it's on Max. So we're gonna watch season six while I clean this up. So for all my fellow reality show watchers, I do enjoy this show. <laughs> it's like Teen Mom. My dog here, he's gonna watch me clean. He's got the whole little living room space to himself, but he likes to chill and watch me on this side. Ain't that right, Odie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the first drawer. I'm embarrassed. Okay, I swear I don't use this as much, but it looks like glitter fell, a whole bunch of things happened, so I'm sorry. It looks like this, but we're just gonna start cleaning. So I think what I'm gonna do is take everything out, clean it, and then figure out how many of these like containers I have, and then decide at the end of cleaning the majority of the drawers where the containers are gonna go. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch a sped up compilation of this. Excuse my feet. Um, and then I will get it goes, I'll just let you guys watch. Okay, I figured out what this is and um, why well, I, I just remembered immediately, but I used to do a lot of custom acrylic and I would put them in here and I would mix them and I would just leave them because I liked them, but I didn't have little containers and I would just use them on myself. Um, but yeah, that's, what's, that's what this drawer looks like this for. All right, just wanted to let you know.
Okay, that took 8,000 years to do and a lot of acetone, so yikes. Oh my god, I think I just ruined that. I put acetone on this. Oh my god, that is a crap. Okay, well, because acetone is like one of the only things that can take off some stuff, like acrylic, you know? Because I used to use acrylic a lot, so. Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want. Okay, so this is the next drawer, and this drawer is just nail tips and stuff. Most of them I don't even use anymore because I just do gel X, not really acrylic anymore, unless I want to make like a custom glitter, which is pretty rare. So I'm probably gonna move all of these into the locker and maybe try to consolidate some of these. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I might just move them all in there. Okay, we'll get started. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help. But One note, if you're just getting into nails, I wouldn't suggest getting these tips like i would just get the clear ones because if you ever have to do jelly nails or something like that these aren't going to be useful i mean i don't really know the plus in them i would just get the clear little note and i literally never use these i never use these at all <laughs> i or never i was the person that like there were so many videos where people were like don't buy a whole bunch of stuff like when you first start doing nails like listen to that i did not listen to that at all and there's i have so much stuff that i don't like need like i need to go donate all of this to my nail school all of this. because those girlies need good supplies because the supplies they give you not good nothing seems to work on you yeah So this is the pretty, oh so I didn't say that. Yay, we have a free drawer now. This is the pretty drawer, so we'll do all the, I don't actually use any of this stuff also, cause I don't, I hate gems. <laughs> That's just a fun fact about me. I do not like to do any nails with gems on them, but I'll make a 3D charm, but before I will use gems. So I really don't like gems, but. That's just a personal preference. I feel like it's honestly harder for me to use gems and to place them than it is for me to draw a full character. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just not my cup of tea. 
So we've just got glitters, gems, and I'm just gonna, I'll show you guys and I'll just take them all out and then I'll, like I said, clean it and put them back in. like look at all this oh my goodness and out of all of this i really just use the glitters because i loved making custom acrylic glitter and i still do that sometimes but everything else goodness gracious girl you did not need to buy all of this so honestly most of this might go into the locker or or i might just leave it here because I don't know where else I would put it, to be honest. And I don't super need this drawer for anything else. So, I might just leave it here, probably. Just like a tattoo. 
And that's it for this drawer. I didn't really get rid of that much stuff. I just organized it a bit, as you guys saw. So let's go to the next drawer. So this drawer, this is just like more nail tips, face masks, um, just old stuff. I don't even know what I'm saying. You guys will see. <laughs> Let me adjust the camera.
with you to wake up. I ain't coming no waiter. Gonna lead a drama, cause I'm too grown. Let you deal with that alone. I'ma get back when I do, don't call my phone now. So I just decided to put my nail tips and then some of my um, the branding from Ball Pit in the bottom drawer. And then now I think I'm just going to put everything in the drawers now. I'm already being lazy and I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> but we're going to finish the cleaning this because it's really not that much. Now, I mean, this drawer was probably the worst. And now that one's done. Or the top drawer because you guys can't see what I was showing you. But um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to start filling up the drawers. And then the other side should be quicker because I barely go on that side. So let's do this. Let's go back to the first drawer. So we're back to the first drawer and this basically is just like base coats, um, dehydrators, primers, stuff like that. And I think I am gonna put my brushes back in here. I was kind of just like throwaway brushes as you saw before, but I think I'm gonna put all the brushes, like the nice brushes I use here now so I can get to them a little bit easier now. I just kind of leave them on top of my desk, but we're gonna put them in the drawer. So let's do it. Okay, so the other side's done and now i have all this acrylic and i forgot this was in here see this is what was on the other side these are the two colors i used for um the puffy Ami yumi set so they're right there let me close my blinds because i feel like everyone's just looking at my there we go. all right so the acrylic i think i'm going to move to a different drawer i don't think i'm going to put it in the locker because that would just like I feel like I'll have so many empty drawers. So I'm gonna move these, I'll just take these all out and then put them into a different drawer because I just don't use them. The only one that when I do use it, I just use clear. So goodness, see that's what I'm saying. Like you should, I did not need to buy all of this. I don't even know if I even use any of these on clients. I need to give these away. <laughs> Cause this is ridiculous, so ridiculous. next drawer so this is going to be the challenging one i don't even know if i want to take everything out i'm going to be so honest with you i know that's the point of the video but it's organized the way that i would keep it um, and i really don't want to take it out because <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work and it's really just this and like these guys like i don't know if you're, this happens to your guys' polishes but like what the hell is this like that happens and I don't, it's so annoying. So it makes, when you hit one and it goes to the bottom, like you see all that, like I'm really not trying to clean that right now, but oh, that's the whole point of the video. Let's put the acrylics away into a different drawer so I have somewhere to put these and then we'll put these back. I honestly am not gonna promise you that I'm gonna clean every single one of these bottles because I'm not, but I will take it out and clean the bottom so we can all be satisfied by that, but no. No, this is this is an organized. It's not like a super tidy clean. Okay, so we have all of this stuff. Where is this red coming from? 
Anyway. Okay, so let's take a look down. That's crazy. Look at that. So many. Jeez. Okay, this is glitter though. I can put the glitter in the, ah, the glitter in the glitter box. I can put oh my god, do I wanna do that? Do I wanna transfer? But I probably should transfer all of these gels to this one because I use this and then put a second drawer of gels and then everything else can be so I'm thinking the wires can be this bottom drawer I can just shove all the wires into there and then this drawer is maybe going to be like extra stuff like this or just I'll just probably put that in the locker and then we'll just have like extra space for other things so gel gel acrylic or acrylic gel gel you know what we'll do gel gel and then if i have to maybe i'll just put the acrylic here and then i'll have a, a bigger drawer that's closer to me for stuff i more so use wow i'm really gonna move all this it's all right though because I, I can easily just put it somewhere okay i like that plan All right, my camera died and we got full, but so this is where we are so far. I don't really know where the other video ended, but here we are for this. Um, this is my D and D. So all my gel polishes that aren't ball pit, like all my ball pit ones, go on the wall since I'm a brand ambassador. And these ones stay in the drawer because I was a ride or die D and D before ball pit. I still love them. They're so like affordable, and you get like when you buy one, you get like the nail polish with it if you ever want nail polish or want to use it for like airbrush and stuff. That was always nice, but um, a little nail tech and nail school on a budget. These D&Ds were awesome and they had a whole wall of them in the nail store. So I still love them. And if I ever do need some random color that um, a ball pit doesn't have yet, then I go run and grab one of these babies. But yeah, I just don't like that they do this weird stuff. Um, but what I do like about ball, um, about D&D is I like the, oh my God, see, I haven't used them forever. I don't even know if I ever used this one. This one was my, this is my ultimate favorite color from um, d and But yeah, I like how they have curved brushes. You can like barely see, but I love how they have curved brushes. And then, let me see, there's an equivalent. Um, where is it? That's similar to this one. Um, oh my gosh, my throne's were on my friggin' desk. Where is it? Oh. This is like my ball pit equivalent to that. So pretty. But yeah, I still love D&D, &D, so I'm gonna keep all my D&D, &D, but the ball pit are beautiful and they look, they just look so branded nice, so they're going on the wall. <laughs> okay, now for this crazy drawer, this is gonna be my overflow because I could put these in here probably, like situated, but it's just so tight, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna do this and then I can have the all the liner gels I have. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna, if I can just, I can, there's this, I won't really display. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll put the liner gels in here and then I won't display the liner gels for ball pit. I know there's only two um, at the moment, but I'm sure she'll make more. Um, so I'm gonna keep that space. And then I still have, I have these ones. I actually won these ones 
from nails by dev i commented what she should paint on her youtube video and she liked my comment the most so i got all of the these pastel ones e so i'll put them in there too so let me just organize this and i'll let you guys be
never wanna give you up. I know we've been through way too much, but I'm confident we'll make it through. I'm here for you, you're not by yourself. yourself. Lay the clock, body talk. There's no need to bring it up. Nothing you say makes it better. All right, so all the drawers are complete. The worst drawer. <laughs> I moved this one to a press-on drawer instead of, oh my gosh, what was it before? I think it was like the tools I used for clients before, but I moved it to the press-on drawer. It's my little press-ons for my mom. My nail glitters and all that stuff. I try to put the glitters and like the chromes closer to the top because they're like the ones that I would use more so, but I could go into the store the least probably. All right, so this is my client drawer. That's what I'm going to be using. Just everything for the client goes in here since I rarely have them. So I just want to have one space, not multiple doors. And then last drawer is now the tips and then like extra um, branding stuff that I like to keep. And I'll eventually hang up, but I just like to keep like the old boxes and stuff from Ball Pit. And then, yeah, my gel X's I moved over here as well. And then the other side. I finished this side with me. Okay, so the gels. So this is the first drawer of gels, mostly my D and D gels, some glow in the dark, um, just some of these random ones. I think there's like glittery, and these are cat eye ones that I have. That's really it. And then the next drawer of gels is the liner gels I have from Nails by Deb, some of her um, trivia gel, and then just beetles, you know, stuff like that. This is the acrylic drawer. <laughs> Oh my god. See, I don't even know. These drawers. Anyway, this is as good as it's gonna get for that drawer. And then this is like a junk drawer. Just miscellaneous. It's not really that organized. I'm so sorry guys. But like it's just miscellaneous random stuff that I have I don't have a good place for like an airbrush holder thing. <laughs> and then now we're gonna tackle this situation. And I'm going to try to shove it into this drawer so I can open it and I won't have to look at that and my dog won't bite in and stuff like that. So that's the goal. Okay, so this is the wire drawer. I know it still looks kind of stupid with the wires going all the way up, but this is way better than it was before. So I'm happy with it. I have plenty of plugs for like my phone or anything else. So I like this new transition and then I can pretty much hide it away. It's not like... Obviously super hidden. Maybe if I put this like, I can do it like that. But yeah, so let me just clean the front of the drawers because they look a little crazy. And then the drawers will be all set. I'm not gonna do the desk just yet because I just got all the new products and I kind of want to wait until I unbox them. This is how it's looking right now. I don't know how many days are gonna go by before I finish the rest. Okay, now I'm going to do the locker. This bottom part's pretty organized because I've already organized it before. But, um, so that was be like a quick one, but we'll organize this because I just started throwing things into it. <laughs> I blame myself, although I tried, although I tried, I tried. Let in you go, let in you go I'm waving my wife. 
We shared our sorrows, we share the love. As we get older, maybe we change. I had my reasons, I couldn't stay, hope you're okay now. want your time Okay, so now I'm gonna put out four more shelves because I have lots more polish and that'll be good because these shelves hold um, one collection plus the mystery shade and then one other shade. So it's good for, I think I need to have, right now I have two more collections that it needs to hold and then all of the special colors. No, three more collections, wait no. Two more collections I think, we'll just see when we put it up, but I will put it up and then I will ASMR it probably to put the colors on, that's a good idea. <laughs>
All right, so I have all my shelves up. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, so I'm so happy they're all up. So now I'm gonna go put all the collections up so I can have them all on the wall. I think I'll have enough for all the collections and then a row that's gonna have um, like the top coats, any extras or anything like that will be on the last row. And then of course, when I need more, I'll buy some more. All right, here we go. Right now I have it in order, but the thing is, with this collection, there's 12. So, what I could do is put this, but I might just, let's think about this. There's 12, so I'm gonna have one extra. So I'm thinking, maybe I should've put them here, but I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put these here, and then these on the top and then just have to have it overflowing. Oh no, I don't want it overflowing. And then what do I do with these things? I think I have to go back to having these guys over here. Oh look, I can just put the extras in their spot. Okay, I can just put the extra right here. And then the extra over here. Oh, sugar plum body. Extras. And then, because the black and the white need to go somewhere, and then, I'll just put those in the drawer, I guess. And then, okay, that works for that. Oh my god, but where are we going to put the extra? Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Mmm. That's like, I don't want to do that though. You did that 
Yeah, you crossed the line about a thousand times and I did that. Yeah, I stayed a while, tried to make it right. Cigarette. No, I never smoked, but my heart is broke. Explosive. Stressing for that old thing back. back, back. That initial love. All the loose bums. Those feathers in my gut. Wanna go back to how it was Lay in each other's arms all day, all day. Send me gifts just because all right so it looks so good this is my desk I absolutely love all like the new shelves my Brad dolls I really want to complete the collection but um I just have these two for now and my fake hand right here and then right here I have this little family of monsters they are so cute I just got them in Indiana I believe and of course my ball pit packages and then my um, and she prints merge or and claws as you might know her and then yeah so now we're going to clean this side since I haven't like it's kind of clean but I haven't really like gotten to it and I want to put up this board and everything and then yeah this was actually um real quick this was actually what inspired my logo and like the name for everything really cute okay let's go supposed to do our vision boards very babe I'm talking to the camera <laughs> we were supposed to do our vision boards in January but we did not do so but this beautiful cork board can still go on the wall and maybe I'll do something for Halloween on it or something like that <laughs> just do a little fake fake so it is all done let's do a quick little showcase of it all okay so the walker it's actually like it's not like perfect but it's better than it was <laughs> and then through here not perfect but better than it was these little babies all lined up <laughs> and now the desk my beautiful desk so like i said in the next video we are going to be doing halloween so those will be changed and then just the desk in general, brushes, 
all the colors and then the drawers because it doesn't like look great in some of the drawers but but i've been using it for a while and they've just been functioning functioning really well so i'm really happy with how i changed the do the drawers this drawer is a mess but i don't even use it so it's fine this is a drunk drawer so we're not gonna look in it and then the quartz which has been very helpful for that to be out of the way this side, I love that I have these hung up finally. I'll put something on here. I don't know what yet, but we'll pin some stuff on there. Hopefully some Halloween. And then, yeah, that's it. That's what, let me back up a little. There's my little, my little nook. And then for the next video, we are going to be using Halloween decorations to decorate the space. And I really wanna put these lights so we can have more um fun lights over here too so look forward to that in the next video i look an absolute mess right now but <laughs> i'm just a little sweaty from this but if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe and like and we are going to be doing halloween next and adding these lights so um it'll be nice halloweenify the nice organized space that we just did so um i will see you guys in the next one Thank you.